Hey, Drunken Master Paul here, and we are back with the Arcade 1UP Mini Cabinet. Now, you may recognize this from the fantastic piece of investigative journalism that Metal Jesus and I did on this very box. Now, we did a review on this several months ago, and overall, I liked it. Uh, I like the um, the graphics on the outside. I thought were pretty decent. Um, the um, the picture was fine, even though it's emulation. I didn't really mind that, and the gameplay was all right as well. But there was something that really bothered me. That no, not the beer. The spinning knob. Now this is an Asteroids, Tempest, Major Havoc, and Lander cabinet. Now two of those games, Tempest and Major Havoc, they use spinners. Well, Tempest uses a spinner, Major Havoc uses a roller in the arcades, but a spinner would do just as well. This doesn't spin, this clicks. So it's not really a spinner, it's a clicky thing, and it just, you can't get any action out of it. And that just, it ruined the gameplay for me. So that kind of sucked, and I haven't actually played the cabinet since. However, a very nice person named Glenn from Glenn Retro Show reached out to me and said, hey, we've got a replacement spinner for that cabinet. It should work great. Can I send you one? And I said, hmm, yes, please do. He did, I've got it here. I'm gonna install it, check it out, and see what's what. One, two, three, four. Drunk basketball. All right, to show you how it works as it is, I'm gonna play a quick game of Tempest with the clicky knobby thing, all right? Here we go. Okay. I can't make it spin around, it just stops. I'm having to physically turn it both ways instead of snapping it back and forth, and it's really hard on the wrist. And you can't get the good strafing runs with this spinner. Are you kidding me? So, yeah, this is just unusable for this game. Let's see how the uh, new spinner works out. Okay, so Glenn sent me the replacement spinner for the cabinet. Now, I haven't actually even opened this box yet, so we'll do a wee bit of unboxing for you. Uh, but I have been in touch with Glenn. In fact, he showed up on my stream uh, a couple weeks ago to let me know about this. And uh, he assures me that this is completely plug and play. We're just gonna open this thing up, we're gonna plug this in, it's gonna work. So we'll see how well that goes. But, but here it is. Here's the, uh, the box. Um, we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Here we go. I will move my beer to the other side. So the beer of the day is Elysian Dayglow IPA. Yes, I'm drinking an IPA. I know I've bitched about them in the past, but you know, things changed. And I'm hankering for some avocado toast too, so weird. So we'll put that over there. So opening this thing up, let's see what we got. Okay. So we open it up and we have some instructions. So here we go. The official Arcade 1UP Global Fan Page, endorsed by Tastemakers LLC. Setting the trend. I always uh, like to hang out with good trendsetters. All right, Glenn's Retro Show. Thank you for your pre-order of this Arcade 1UP Arcade Quality Spinner shown on Glenn's Retro Show on YouTube. So this, these aren't actually instructions, are they? This is just a, an ad. Did I just read a commercial? All right, so put that aside over here. And so the next one is, all right, we have adjustable arcade spinner. This is nice. Ooh. <sighs> IPAs. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. All right, we'll set those aside. And here's the spinner itself. So it comes nicely packaged in some foam. Uh, apparently this goes for like 50 bucks. So I'm really, I really appreciate you guys sending this out to me. So there we go. Here's a, the base for it. Uh, that's heavy. Oh, look, silica gel. We get chiclets. So, there we go. That's, wow, it's nice and heavy. Nice ball bearing. And, ooh, that's a good weighty spinner wheel. So that will go on there and, ooh, spinny, spinny. That's, that's a spinner. This, 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 this. Yeah, no comparison. All right, that, the board. Looks like we have a bunch of screws and wires and let's see anything else in here so it's out okay nothing else in there set that aside and does it come with an allen wrench 
It does not come with an Allen wrench. No Allen wrench, but don't despair. I have many Allen wrenches. I'll go get one and let's get this thing installed. Now, there's no instructions on how to actually pull the counter apart, so I'm just going to go for it here. I'm going to pull the screws. Four screws. Well, that came out easy enough. And we have just a regular, looks like a old parallel ribbon here. Here we go. That's pulled. And we have a bunch of smaller screws in here. Pull those out as well. So there we go. So it's <laughs> not a difficult setup. Okay, so it says remove original spinner. All right, can do. Wow, so that's it, huh? So there's the original spinner. That is not a spinner in any way whatsoever. That is a switch. Just a high friction rotary switch. Well done. And then this, oh look at this. Built in spinner is just a sandwich of plastic between, it's better. It's that. And there, wow. Well, like, you get what you pay for for 300 bucks, I guess. Anyway, moving on. Okay, let's pull this piece out of here. Let's just drop it on the floor. Or down into the cabinet, wow. Amazing. Good, install the spinner at the back to be using with screws, all right. Okay, we wanna get that centered up. Go. Okay. Oh, it does come with an Allen wrench. It does. Came with an Allen wrench. I was wrong. I just didn't see it. Yay! So you get all the tools needed other than a screwdriver. So, new wiring harness. Okay. Okay, so the wiring harness went in just fine. I just need to clip out the old one. And I know I can just cut the wires and pull it out, but I'm not going to. I want to keep this intact for now. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's, uh, then we put it back together. And now, final bit. Ooh. So that, folks, that's a spinner. All right, let's see how this works. So Glenn, you didn't steer me wrong. That was plug and play. I didn't have to cut anything. You just unscrew the uh, the control box, take the old one out, put the new one in, and they even included the Allen wrench to tighten up the knob. So well done, that was super simple. And if I wasn't shooting a video, I probably could have done that in about five minutes. So well done. Now I didn't do anything else. I literally touched nothing else besides the spinner. I just plugged it back in and we're gonna test it out right now and see if this is gonna work. It works! At least it fires up. All right. Okay, so it's warmed up. The first test, use a spinner to select the uh, 
the menu. So here we go. Woo, it worked. Tempest. Selecting Tempest. Here goes nothing. Wow! That is Tempest. That is a million times better. Holy shit in a shoebox, Batman. It's, there's more finesse. Wow, that was stunning how much of a game changer that is on this cabinet. This is a spinner. This is the way to play Tempest and I'll play Major Havoc. I'm sure it's gonna be much better doing it that way. It actually spins, it's not a cheap little rotary switch that's uh, disguised as a spinner. Now, one of the reasons I'm harping on this so much is on Arcade 1UP's webpage, they claim it's arcade play. They claim that these are just like the arcades. And in this case, it just wasn't. It just, the feel was wrong and it didn't actually work. With this spinner, I would say this is as close as you're gonna get to arcade play at this price point. Now, it isn't cheap. <clears throat> they cost about 50 bucks and uh, they're, they're worth it. For me, they're worth every dime. Um, the hardware is very high quality, it feels good and it transforms this into a playable machine. So 350 bucks for a mini arcade cab, four good games, great spinner. I think, I still think that's worth it. You can't find anything at that price point unless you build it yourself. And if you're gonna build it yourself, great. You can build an awesome MAME arcade cab for yeah, about half this. But you know, some people just don't want to do that. Time is money. And uh, I really understand if you just wanna go out and get something cool, that's great. I like building stuff. Some people don't, some people, crazy thing, just like to play games. And that's awesome. So thank you once again, Glenn from Glenn's Retro Show for hooking me up with this fantastic spinner. I give it the DMP thumbs up, seal of beer approval. It's awesome. It's just awesome. The quality's up there. The installation was super easy. And if I was go to buy this cabinet and it costs $350, but with this spinner, I'd say that's absolutely worth it. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and don't forget I'm now streaming on Twitch. Check me out on uh, Twitch TV slash Drunken Master Paul. I usually do a show every Friday at six o'clock. It's the happy hour. And you know, I might even throw a little Tempest out there too. Who knows? I gotta have more beer and play some more games. Cheers. So huge thanks to Glenn Planamento for sending me this spinner. It is literally a game changer. Now, Glenn is in no way affiliated with Arcade 1UP. He just designed this and had it built. How cool is that? Glenn also runs the biggest Arcade 1UP fan page on Facebook. Make sure you check that out. Of course, I will be putting links to his pages and also to the Amazon page where you can buy this. And just for the record, I don't get any money from this spinner in any way whatsoever. However, if Elysia wants to throw me some cash for endorsing their products, I wouldn't turn that down. Thanks for watching and have a scientastic day.